Hello there, you are welcome to Tazunomi Online Mathematics. We have a question still on the June 2022 WASI question paper. We are on the question number 15. We want to see how we can uh, provide an answer for that. If you are new to this channel, please, I will plead with you to subscribe to the channel. Click on the notification bell for more notifications. So that anytime a video is uploaded, you'll be the first to see it. This question is on logical reasoning. So we say consider the statement P. Stephen is intelligent. The statement Q. Stephen is good at mathematics. Alright, so the condition says that if P implies Q, which of the following is a valid statement? If P implies Q. We know that when we have this kind of statement, the P is an assumption that we make, where Q becomes the conclusion of that assumption. So if we are saying that Stephen is intelligent, if Stephen is intelligent, then he is good at what? Mathematics. That is the meaning of the implication here. If Stephen is intelligent, then he is good at what? Mathematics. We know in general that to determine the validity of a statement, we take the fact that if P implies Q, it also means that the equivalent of this statement, which is also valid, will be not Q imply not P. The negation. The negation of what? The conclusion implies that the assumption, the negation of what the assumption is also what? True. These are the two statements we use to determine the validity of a statement. So let's see possible answer A. If Stephen is good at mathematics, then he is intelligent. You know, on normal scale, we can accept that statement. That if Stephen is good at mathematics, then he is intelligent. But don't forget, we are beginning from where? Intelligent. As our assumption. Where the conclusion is good at mathematics. So, picking this statement is saying that we are using the converse. The converse which is, if P implies Q. Which is true statement, then Q also imply what p which is written as p implies what q which means p is true if and only if q is also true if you want to go for the statement a you will have been using the converse equivalent which will have been the condition given to us here that if p is true it is true only if Q is also what? True. So both sides being a true statement, the A will have been correct. But in this case, we are not after this. We are after this. So A is not our possible answer. Alright. B. If Stephen is not good at mathematics, if Stephen is not good at mathematics, the negation of the conclusion, then he is not what? Intelligent. The negation of the assumption, which we can see from this place. Q represents what? Good at mathematics. P represents intelligent. The negation. So this is the negation. Implies the negation of this. So that is the statement. If Stephen is not good at mathematics, then he is not what? Intelligent. So we can pick the B as our possible answer. Alright, somebody will say we have taken the answer so too soon. Let's see what the C will say. If Stephen is not intelligent, is not intelligent, then he is not good at what? At mathematics. This statement is telling us that we have negation of P implies that negation of Q, 
which is never true. The statement is, this and this are not equivalent. We will not say this is the equivalent of this. These two statements are not the equivalent of this. It is only this that is equivalent to that. So C is also not our option that we are looking for. Then D, if Stephen is not good at mathematics, then he is intelligent. Obviously, that is not our answer. So from this, the question number 15 on logical reasoning, our answer will be D. The best option for this question will be B. I believe you followed. Uh, if you don't, we are learning together so you can send your comment and your suggestions and contributions, recommendations on or in the comment section so that we learn together. Don't forget to like the video. Don't forget to share with others and subscribe to the channel. See you as we solve the next question, question 16.